I figured it out. So yeah, I'm a Christian and I just had a few questions for you. Um, I've been watching this guy on YouTube uh, named Toby Singer, and he uses the Old Testament, especially Isaiah, to really talk about how God is one and how <laughs> um, Can you just help talk about this guy a little bit? And it's, it, it, is, is this guy legit? He's building up a big audience pretty quickly. Okay. Let me, let me do it again. You didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think of Toby Singer. But anyway, uh, I can use Isaiah to show I can hear myself in the background. You're going to have to mute your computer or I'm going to keep hearing. Okay. Okay, let me mute. You did? Okay. Do you have your Bible, Isaiah, open? Uh, yes, I do. I got an ESV. Okay, ESV. Okay, he says that God is one. Okay, do you know of any Trinitarian that denies that God is one? Never met one, Not, no. Okay. The question is, what does it mean that God is one? One person? Well, let me show you. Are you ready? You ready to show from show you from Scripture that even Isaiah testifies that the one God of Israel is at least three persons. Okay, go to Isaiah 63. Let's read. We're going to break it down in sections, but you're going to read for me. Isaiah 63. We're going to read verses 7 to 8 to start with. Um, I will recount the steadfast love of the Lord, the praises of the Lord, and according to all that the Lord has granted us, and the great goodness of the house of Israel, that he has granted them according to his compassion, according to the abundance of his steadfast love. For he said, surely they are my people, children who will not deal falsely. And he became their savior. Okay, now pay attention. The Lord Jehovah became Israel's savior, right? Correct. Okay, so that was Isaiah 63, 7, 8. Now count how many are involved in saving Israel. Now verse 9. In their affliction, he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and his pity, he redeemed them. Now, who saved he them? In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them. Who saved them? God. You didn't read it. Yeah. One more time. Who and, saved them? Uh, the angel of his presence saved them. Okay, yes. I see that. Ah, so now how count? How many is that? God and his angel, right? Yep, that's, uh, so that's, that's, that's God the Father and God the Son. You got it. The angel of his presence means the messenger, because angel doesn't mean a creature with wings. It means messenger. So who saved Israel? The messenger of God's face. The word presence, and you asked Tovia, doesn't it mean presence? Uh, does presence mean face? The messenger of God's face, which means the messenger who beholds the face of God and also embodies God's presence and face. He saved them, and God redeemed them. So God and the messenger saved, redeemed Israel, right? That's right. How many was that? Two so oh, far. Oh, yeah. but wait. They're going to be number three. So read verse 9 to 10 now. Isaiah 16, okay. verses 9 to 10. Okay. Uh, and In all their affliction he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity he redeemed them. He lifted them up and carried them all the days of old. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit. Who? Oh, I see it. There you go. Who? Uh, but they rebelled, sorry, and grieved his Holy Spirit. How do you grieve the Holy Spirit if the Holy Spirit doesn't have emotions? And if he has emotions, does it mean he's a divine person? That's right. So count. God, the angel of his face, and his Holy Spirit. How many is that? That's three. I got I to gotta save this first. This is fantastic stuff. And only three, right? But it gets better. So when they rebelled and grieved this Holy Spirit, finish the verse. Okay. Therefore he turned to be their enemy and in himself fought against them. Now read verse 11. Then he remembered the days of old of Moses and his people. Where he, where is he who brought them up out of the sea with the shepherds of his flock? Where is he who put in the midst of them his Holy Spirit? So it's talking about so, the Holy Spirit being there at the time of Moses in the midst of Israel. Now, can I ask you a question? Sure. What was the Holy Spirit doing there in the midst of Israel during the time of Moses? Why was he there? I'm not too sure. Think about it. What did God do for them? He brought them out. Uh, he was, that's right. He brought them out of uh, Pharaoh's oppression. And redeemed them and did what to them and does it preserve them, right? That's correct. How did he preserve them? 
by placing the Holy Spirit in their midst to preserve mm. them and sustain them. Mm. You caught it? I got it. I, I, I see the Trinity in, in Isaiah now. Okay, I've but wait, it's going to get better. Read now, skip to verse 14, Isaiah 63, 14. Okay. Uh, like lobs, uh, livestock that go down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. Who gave them rest? The, the Spirit of the Lord, the Holy oh, Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord gave Israel rest. We're going to come back to that in a minute to see why that's important. I'll finish it. So you led your people to make for yourself a glorious name. So wait. God, the angel of his face, and his Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord, saved Israel, redeemed Israel, was in the midst of Israel, and gave Israel rest. Now, read verse 16. Isaiah 63, verse 16. For, for our... Uh, for you are our father, though Abraham does not know us, and Israel does not acknowledge us. You, O oh Lord, are our father. Our redeemer from of old is your name. So the Lord is the father? Yes. So wait, you have God the father, the angel of his face, and the Holy Spirit. How many is that? That's all three. Where is there a fourth? Is there a fifth? Is there a fourth, no, fifth, three, no, and only three, right? Yeah. Is it a coincidence that Isaiah mentions three and only three who saved Israel, redeemed Israel, and Jehovah said to be their father, the angel said to be the messenger of his face, and the Holy Spirit said to be his Holy Spirit, and all three of them are involved in saving, redeeming Israel, and preserving Israel, giving them rest? That's right. Okay, now let me sh share something else with you. Go back to Isaiah 63, 14 one more time. Isaiah 63, 14. Okay. Like livestock that go down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord gave them rest. So the Spirit so of the Lord gave them rest, right? I want you to focus on that. The Spirit of the Lord gave them rest, right? Yep. Okay, now you don't need to re read the rest of it. Don't lose your place. The Spirit of the Lord gave Israel rest. Now go to Exodus 33, verse 14. Don't forget, it says the Spirit of Jehovah the Lord gave Israel them rest okay and exodus 33 6 i'm sorry exodus 33 14 and he said my presence will go with you and i will give you rest who gave them rest his presence and his presence that sounds like the holy spirit well no 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 reread it carefully it's not his presence that's not what he said we read it again and he said my presence will go with you and i will give you rest. Yes, so who's going to give them rest? God. God. But in Isaiah 63, 14, it was the Spirit that gave them rest, right? That's right. But now you said my presence means the Holy Spirit. No, not here. My presence will go with you, right? Right. And then read verse 15. And he said to him, if your presence will not go will not go with me. Do not bring us up from here. So send your presence with us, your face with us. So notice God's face, presence, seems like someone distinct from him, right? It does. But now go to Exodus 33, verse 2. Here you're going to see who who's God's face and presence that goes with them. Exodus 33, verse 2. I will send an angel before you. And I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Prisalites, the Hittites, and uh, the Jubisites. Gesundheit. Okay, now, wait. In Exodus 33, 2, who's going to go before them? Who's God sending ahead of them? An angel. But in Exodus 33, 14, it says, my presence, my face is going to go before you. Yeah. So who's his face? Who's his presence? The angel. That's why Isaiah 63, 9 says, the angel of his face. Oh. Of his face means the angel who is his face, whose presence. So when the angel goes, that's God's presence going ahead of them. That's incredible. How did you learn all this stuff? The Holy Spirit of the living God. That's incredible. 